reason that you would want 3D images as compared to 2D images is because a 2D image being a static image does not give you the feeling of volume. The human structure is volumetric, it's three-dimensional. The three-dimensional imaging gives you the ability to explore that. It also gives you the chance to identify where the anatomical structures are, bone volume, all the things that are necessary when you're doing implant dentistry, also when you're doing complex third molar extractions and complex endodontic procedures. 3D imaging allows you to identify key anatomical structures, which is very important when you're placing implants. For instance, in the lower posterior mandible, where you want to identify the, the mandibular canal, and you want to measure the distance that you have and the length of implant that can be placed. It also gives you the ability to measure the width of the bone to determine whether bone grafting is necessary and or which diameter implant that you can place in the area. When you're in the posterior maxillary area, it identifies the location of the sinus, the volume of the sinus, and again, allows you to pick the diameter and length of implant and or grafting procedures that will be necessary in order to place an implant in that area. The primary advantage of 3D imaging over 2D imaging for me is in the placement of implants in the maxillary arch, how much dimension I have in terms of the sinus, and in the mandibular arch, how much dimension I have between the crest of the ridge and the alveolar nerve. And 3D enables us to measure the diameter of the ridge and the vertical height to the alveolar nerve in the mandibular arch and in the maxillary arch. Similarly, it gives us the ability to measure the width of the arch as well as the distance between the vertical distance between the height of the ridge and the sinus. From a, a, a lesser application, from a endodontic perspective, if we're trying to separate out roots to see if uh, what the root configuration is of, a, of an endodontically treated tooth. And uh, to some extent, we have used it in third molar surgery, where if we're trying to uh, evaluate the mandibular nerve position relative to the roots of the third molar, uh, all of these are uh, applications that we have used with the SUNY 3D system.